Huge week ahead for British men's ice hockey over the coming six days. Nottingham will host the World Championship for six teams in Division One. It is the biggest tournament staged in the UK for generations and the prize will be a chance to join the world's elite again. And Great Britain will just be hoping the roar of the home fans gives them the edge. And this week, I've been very lucky on the ice, indeed, with the British team. The stage is set for the biggest clashes on ice to be witnessed in the UK in a generation. Bone crunching smashes, a lightning fast blur of bodies, sticks and pucks, a Six Nations battle for promotion to the top division, a chance to rejoin the world's elite teams. And for Great Britain, it's a road to redemption. They ended decades in the wilderness in 2018 and spent three seasons in the top flight before relegation last year. But now, in front of their home fans, here on the ice in Nottingham this week, they have this chance to bounce straight back. Once again, they're stretching every muscle in the face of adversity. There's a fire and a hunger in, in us all to get back up there and, and keep proving that UK hockey is a good place to be. And Great Britain strike first! We're not known as a hockey playing country. We know we can compete with these teams. If we're playing on our top level, that uh, we, we can be back and compete with the big boys. The slot chance for GB! They score! To do it on home ice and to have a chance to go back to play the likes of Canada, USA, Finland is huge. Ice hockey, the fastest game in the world and one of the most thrilling. Not only steel shod, but well padded. Great Britain can draw on a golden history. Olympic ice hockey champions in 1936, when the sport was thrust into the national spotlight. Sometimes this happens. Where is the gold miner? Nowadays, GB find themselves 18th in the world, but with a chance now to rise again. When you're up so close to the action and you hear the crack of the pucks, you realise how adrenaline-filled and exciting this sport can be. The big problem the sport has, though, is getting enough time on the limited number of ice rinks in the country to get enough new youngsters coming along to give the sport a go, especially with all the other activities on offer to them now. But this World Championship is a real opportunity to leave a legacy. Now back in the limelight and clubs up and down the country have been running initiatives to get newcomers into the sport. Nottingham school pupils here joining the GB team for a first taste on the ice. <laughs> Great job, Connie! It's really cool and uh, watching the hockey team play was really exciting. It's my first time. It's, it's lots of fun, actually. How many times have you fell over? Um, 26 now. <laughs> have come one time just to give it a go and you get hooked it's so fast paced and everything's happening and obviously with the contact and the speed of it and it's such a family friendly environment to be in as well people just get hooked and they love it looking to the future then but also celebrating the past for britain's most capped player and captain jonathan phillips it's a fitting way to call time on his career and his greatest gift would be promotion in his final match next week that's the kind of fairy tale ending is, is kind of golden uh, pr promotion there. So, I mean, I've been, been involved for such a long time. It will be emotional. It's going to be a, be a sad day, but there's something that, you know, what a great chance and uh, op opportunity. This is a golden chance for a new generation, which could be a springboard for British ice hockey for generations to come. So it all kicks off today. Great Britain face um, Korea tonight in their first match, then a really hectic five or six days. Next Friday is the last match for GB when they'll all be decided up against Italy. Fabulous. You've had a go, haven't you? I know what you're expecting. Bushel on his face, on the ice. Would I? <laughs> Would I? <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. I, I take the tone of the game down. It, <laughs> it became rather slower, not so exciting, not so adrenaline-packed. I didn't fall over, but, I mean, it just shows how hard it is what they do to race around <laughs> on the ice... I mean, that was a trick shot, of course, just deliberately missing it. Um, the puck kept getting away from me. I don't know how they do it, to go around the ice so quickly and then Ooh, have the composure to say. fire in shots that actually beat the keeper. Another trick shot there. The and then I had to stop in the end because this is the moment... Oh, where's the puck gone? This is the moment I actually hit Tim, the cameraman. Or, no, coming up, I think. And so he, he told me off here. Final shot. Come on, beat the keeper. Still, there. Oh. Tim took one for the team there on his toes. Did he, did he tell you off? Yeah. So was, was he it. on the ice as well? 
Yeah, but he had those gripper shoes on. It <laughs> does. He's a brave man too. It does illustrate, doesn't it? Just yeah. how brilliant they are. Yeah. What they do. Really oh, incredible! Does. But when you, they don't even, it's not like they're even skating, not even thinking about the skating. Yeah. And then so quick, and so quick as well. Yeah. Because you... brilliant to watch the action end to end.